Hey guys, this is Tuka Gaming here, and today, um, we are going, I, or at least I'm going to try to, um, teach you about Colon Fine First Child. Now, Colon Fine First Child is, yeah, I guess pretty self-explanatory. It is a bit complicated, in my opinion, but probably for you it's, it might be easier. But, um, before we get into this, um, I just want to apologize once again. Um, you know what, um, this will probably just be my, this will be, um, my new schedule, you know, one, one video every month, anyways. Um, yeah, so, uh, colon five first child is a function, you know, from these brackets like this. So, um, it looks something like this. And let's just, and just to make it, um, legible, we'll just do the number three. Time for child. So, um, this is, right here is pretty much just, um, the, uh, basic meaning of it, or just, um, just the function itself. So, um, what Fine for child does is, in the, in this, uh, in these brackets here, you can write, uh, the name of something. Let's, I'm just going to say part because I'm going to add some parts in. And what what this is going to basically do is find the first part in uh, the workspace. So just to make it easier, I'm just going to put in a few parts. The all of them are named parts because um, to know what this does, um, this will we will have to keep these. We can't name them like part one, part two, or part three, or block one, block two, or block three. No. Um, for find first child to work. Um, or, or in, it, or for its intended use, um, this, this would be, um, what it would, what it would have to be. So let's just, but, uh, we can change the color or any properties inside. So I'm going to change this to the yellow one and change to the green one. So in the workspace, you see we have the part, uh, the, a uh, red part, a green part, and a yellow part. Now, um, you could see in the workspace that the red part is first. The yellow part is second, and the green part is third, or you, or just um, um, closest to the bottom, or you could say the closest to the top. It's your choice. I I don't really um care, but yeah. So um, basically, what Five First Child does, ew, oh, I'm sorry. What Five First Child does is in the script, uh, Five First Child part, it will find it will go through every single um. Sorry, every single child of workspace, because we reference workspace right here, and it will find the first um, part it runs through. So, it's, so first it goes to the camera. Oh, um, the name, or at least this, it finds. Sorry, let me re reiterate that. Um, it goes through every single uh, child inside whatever is referenced, and if the name matches up with whatever's inside here then um, that will be the one that's referenced. So this is more of a reference thing, not a... Uh, actually, yeah, so it's more of a reference thing, not really a... Uh, not exactly some other function that can, I don't know, change it or anything. Although that is an intended use-ish. Anyways, um, so it's gonna go through everyone, so camera, nope, that's the name of it. It's not part. Um, terrain's name is in part. Script's name is in part. Baseplate's name is a part. Notice how this is a in the class name it's part, but for um sorry and also these parts class name is also part. But since this but since um this part's name is named baseplate, then it would just skip over it. And then boom, uh the function has found its first part, and this one right here is the one it's going to reference because it's the first one inside this whole list that name is part. It, it's not the second one or the third one. That's, um, you'll need to use a different function for that. Uh, or you just have to rename them. But, uh, this is kind of the lazier way, I'd say. So, it references this part, and that's pretty much all this does. So, if we go and say, let's make this a variable so it's easier. Local 
find part. I'm, I'm going to name this variable find part. So because it references the first part, it's these, and then print find part dot brick color. So basically, what this what what this is going to do is it's going to use the find first child function to find the first part. So it'll go all the way down until it finds part, and then it'll print its brick color right here. Find part dot brick color. So um, since its brick color is really red. If this part is in the top or is in or is the highest out of all the other parts in the list, then uh, Five First Child will select that. So if we run the game, if you could see on the output, it shows really red, and that's because it went through every single one in Workspace because I referenced Workspace. So it goes. Oh, I found workspace. Now I have to find the first child named Part. So it goes to camera. Nope. Terrain. Nope. Script. Nope. Me. Nope. Faceplate. Nope. And then finds Part. No. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, I am assuming that this is uh in the start of the game, so not when it actually loads in. It's just before it runs. So none of this is mixed up. So in Roblox Studio, the first or the first one it sees, not while it's in the game, that's that's for um, if, if you run the script um, while the game is running. But if you do it uh, when the game starts running, then it will then it will do um, in the studio. So since it was really red, it prints really red because that's that's its brick color. Um, there's actually another way to do this, and and it's just by doing this. Gosh. Brick color. So, oh, I'm sorry. So this also works too. Um, so what this will do is, yeah. Um, so basically, find find the first part in which I already covered, and then it will find its brick color. So it's kind of like referencing. It's kind of like referencing part, but a specific one if there if you have many. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all it does. Um, there is one more function. And that is the if. So let's. So if you know um, what if and then stuff are, then um, you can you can keep watching, I guess. Um, so if we say if, let's say game dot workspace colon find first child. Um, of course, part. Then. So this basically says if you find a child that's named part or or um, one or more ch children named part inside workspace then do whatever is inside here but if it doesn't then it just it, it just won't do it so it's it's another way to uh, make an if statement this is actually kind of good if you're trying to um, if you're trying to see if something has a humanoid or not um, but yeah that's pretty much it um, there wasn't a lot to cover today, but, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, have some fun scripting, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.